Alright, so, I made weapons. Which doesn't take a great leap of imagination in KSP because all you have to do is fly things into uh, targets or whatever, and the impact alone does the trick because they don't really have proper warheads in this game. So this is a uh, Hemet. I probably got the acronym wrong on the top up here. But it's a multiple launch rocket system which really isn't a rocket, they are missiles because they are guided. They have uh, ASAS, probe cores, and liquid fuel engines. And the trouble I'm having is steering the things once they're launched. And because I'm in the space plane hangar, it's a real pain in the neck trying to add fins to these things, so I don't think I'm going to bother. Anyway, let's launch this thing and see if we can get this thing and hit the rocket pad from way over here by the runway. Although, I happen to have a target sitting over here, a banged up Hemet fuel tanker. So, perhaps we should get to that end of the runway here, and we'll fire these puppies off, and we'll see if we can actually hit a point target. Although it is fairly large. So we'll just cruise on down here, and everything will be fine. I used to have these, so they were pointing dead forward, horizontal but they dropped too much even when they were RT-10 boosters and they just smashed into the ground like 20 feet in front of the cab and blow up rather unspectacularly so we're not going to do that. So I had to rig up a way to make the beam which is highlighted in green here uh, rotate so I got this complicated looking truss mess I'm not sure what you'd call it besides a disaster, but it did the trick. It did flip the thing up 45 degrees, so at least I can get some air before I have to um, uh, take over steering. So, I'm not sure how far we have to go here. This might be a good enough distance. So let's slam on these brakes. And then we'll begin the process of trying to turn this thing around. Because this thing steers like... Well, it doesn't really steer, it just kind of, you know, break dances around, and hopefully I don't shatter my wheels trying to do this. Oh yeah, this is just great. Uh, forward, forward, you piece of garbage. I'm not going forward anymore. Alright, I'm going to get up the speed bump. Oh yeah, this is great. Smooth, Mr. Ian. Yeah, it's real smooth. Alright, so I guess we're just going to aim it. You know, we're going to bore sight this thing. And maybe we'll get lucky here and we'll get some hits. So because this thing will continue to roll around, especially when the rocket thrust hits these plates, which is what I'm mounting on, uh, I have to set the brakes. And I'm going to control from the probe. Alright, they're pulling from there first. That's funny. So yeah, once these probes launch, they're kind of done. They have very short battery lives. So we'll throttle this thing up. I gotta make sure I am actively controlling this unit. Yeah, it looks like they're highlighted. Alright. And we gotta steer. And hopefully we'll hit the target. Oh my gosh. Nope. Alright. We'll try that again. And I see it's leaning a little bit. This will get worse. Alright, control from here. Just make sure we got it. Oh, well, that's anticlimactic, isn't it? Alright, so... That did not work. Why didn't that work? Anyway. Didn't the same... The same one decided to derp. Yes, babe, you were correct. So we're gonna kind of roll our, our truck around to get rid of that. And there we go. Dead fire. Or as a dud, so control. And our throttle is up. Launch. And we'll see if we can get this thing set up to impact my target. And... That was really close. That was within a few, um... A few feet. Alright, let's get back to our launcher. We'll do one more control from here. We'll make sure we got this throttled up nice. Launch, and we'll see if we can get this thing aimed. 
appropriately and overshoot all right sweet so our target is continuing to sit here with a bunch of broke wheels he doesn't seem phased by this at all all right so you know what let's uh let's go back to our launcher and we'll do end flight and we'll do restart flight so i want to try this again I guess once I learn how to control the stupid missiles, it'll be better. So I wait for the physics to load and figure out what to do with this thing. We got Dumbald and Kerman down there. He doesn't seem too um, phased by this. This is the view from the cab. Uh, not much to see. Um, I didn't realize when I was making this thing the first time how huge this vehicle is, but it's, uh, yeah, you can have a Kerbal run around underneath the thing and uh, it's, uh, <laughs> fix all the wheels from right underneath the vehicle. It's pretty neat. It's pretty boss, but, uh, okay, let's see if this is far enough. I'll just angle down faster. Okay, and I'll just, continuing to hold down, uh, D, and we'll just kind of break dance around here in a controlled fashion, not like I did the other night. What? Can I have water, please? You can ask mommy for that. Okay. Daddy's recording the video. I'm attempting to record oh. chaos and destruction here, but it's not working very well. Oh, gee, that's, uh, these weapons, these are the same. Oh, I know why. Maybe it matters if I have. No, it doesn't seem to matter at all. Oh, okay, well, well. Let's see if I can get that to work. Alright, well, there's his first missile here. Control from here. And fire. Alright, and then we'll. Um, this will be a miss. Went nose down too soon. I did. It's really hard to control this thing. All right, at least I can do that key and get there right away. Control from here. Oh, see, there's the throttle. All right. It's going the wrong way. And I'm going the wrong way. What the snap? Oh. Nope. Okay, let's go back to our launcher. Control from here. Throttle that up. And I short again. I need to not nose down quite so much. Control from here. All right. So you know what? Kerbals aren't very good at war. I guess they're they're not good at this game. They should take notes from Sun Tzu. Up, oh, overshoot. Maybe I need to make a proper target with big giant bullseye on it. Although this is pretty big. So yeah, anyway, that's um, this is my multiple launch rocket system thing. I know, we'll ram it. Ramming always works. Roller 1 to roller 2, correct course to 9. Confirmed. What was the name of that movie? Oh, that's just in my head earlier when I was playing bumper cars with these things. They don't bumper car very well. The uh, panels are very durable. So the lights aren't, the lights bust off and stuff, but, uh, you yeah. know. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I hope I don't clip the lights. Hey, I didn't clip the lights. And... Chris Mash. What? Nothing? At all? Not even a broke wheel? These things are durable until they flip over, then they get stupid. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.